Hey friends, welcome again in Pharmacology Insider by Dr. Nila Solanki. Today we are going to discuss about antiviral drugs, mechanism and pharmacology. But before that, please do like and subscribe my channel Pharmacology Insider. So let's get started. So first we are going to discuss about human immunodeficiency virus structure. So this is the structure of the virus assembly. The first two important components of virus structure that is GP120, GP41, which are helping the HIV virus to bind with the host cell receptor. Then the second important structure that is virus envelope. Third important structure that is P17 and P24 components. Then two important enzymes are there that is protease and reverse transcriptase enzyme and with the help of viral RNA which will be forming new assemblies of HIV virus inside the host cell. So let us discuss about the HIV pathogenesis and the antiviral drug targets. Earlier we have discussed about the overall structure of the HIV virus. So when this virus enter into the host cell and the first important step which is occurring that is HIV fuses with the CD4 cell receptor of the host immune cell. After attachment with the receptor, the second important step which is occurring that is viral RNA, reverse transcriptase, integrate and the other viral protein enter host cell and then as a response of that HIV viral DNA is formed by reverse transcriptase enzyme. This reverse transcriptase enzyme which is helping in the formation of the viral DNA which is again entering into the host DNA and it further integrate into the host cell DNA and ultimately it will be forming a provirus structure of genetic material. Then this newly formed viral RNA is used to make viral proteins outside of the nucleus. Then as a result of that there is a formation of the immature HIV virus. So this is the immature HIV virus structure and this virus mature due to the protease releases the protein and it forms the mature HIV. So this is the mature HIV virus structure. So this is overall about the HIV pathogenesis. Now we will discuss about the antiviral drug targets. So there are four major targets that we have taken here and in detail classification we will discuss about the antiviral drug targets. So first important target that is chemokine receptor antagonist which is blocking the receptor and as a response of that by HIV virus won't be able to bind to the CD4 receptor of the host immune cell. Then second important target that is reverse transcriptase inhibitor. Now this reverse transcriptase inhibitor they are classified into nucleoside and non-nucleoside reverse transcriptase inhibitor. Now this nucleoside reverse transcriptase inhibitor they are phosphorylated by host cell enzyme to form 5-S trace phosphate derivative which is equivalent to host cell trace phosphate substrate for the proviral DNA synthesis via viral reverse transcriptase and this leads to viral DNA termination. So thereby it produces its antiviral activity. Then third important drug target that is inhibitor of the viral integrate enzyme and fourth one that is inhibitors of the protease enzyme. As a result of that mature virus assembly of the HIV virus is not being formed. So these are the four important drug targets of antiviral drugs. Now we are discussing about the pharmacological classification along with the clinical uses and side effects of antiviral drugs. So first is nucleoside reverse transcriptase inhibitor where abacavir, didanosin, lamivudin, stavudin and zidovudin is there. They are mainly used in the HIV infection as well as hepatitis B virus infection. And the major side effects 
for this class of drug that is GI disturbances, CNS related side effects, musculoskeletal, dermatological effects, blood disorders, metabolic effect including pancreatitis, liver damage, lactic acidosis, etc. Another drug that is adifovir and antecavir. They are mainly used in the hepatitis B. Side effects they are same. Then another class that is non-nucleoside reverse transcriptase inhibitor that is ifavirenz and navirapine which are mainly used in HIV infection in combination with the other retroviral drugs. The side effects they are dermatological effects, GI disturbances, CNS related side effects, musculoskeletal blood disorders, metabolic effect including pancreatitis etc. and ifavirenz is mainly teratogenic. Then third important class of the drug that is protease inhibitor where the examples are Emprinavir, Darunavir, Indinavir, Nelfinavir, Sequinavir etc. and HIV infection is the major clinical use in combination with other retroviral drugs. Side effects they are similar to non-nucleoside reverse transcriptase inhibitors. Then the next important class of the antiviral drug that is viral DNA polymerase inhibitor where Foscarnet and Gen Cyclovir is there. Here, a Cyclovir, Fem Cyclovir, Pen Cyclovir, and Vela Cyclovir is also there. Now, here, the A Cyclovir, which is the drug where the mechanism is, it is converted into monophosphate by viral thymidine kinase, and further, it is converted into triphosphate, which is the active form that inhibit the DNA polymerase of the virus assembly. Clinical uses of this drug that is cytomegalovirus infection and herpes infection and side effects are nephrotoxicity, blood disorder, ocular problem, mainly GI dermatological disorders. Then next class is inhibitors of viral coat disassembly and neuraminidase inhibitors where amantidine, oseltamivir and zenamivir is there. They are mainly used in influenza A infection and influenza B infection. GI disturbances, CNS side effects are there. Sometimes bronchospasm is also there. Then next class is integrase inhibitor where retil gravir is there. They are mainly used in the HIV infection. The side effects are GI and metabolic disturbances. Then next class is chemokine receptor antagonists that we have discussed in the pathogenesis and drug target. Meraviroc that is the example HIV infection they are clinical use and main side effect is GI and CNS disturbances. Then we have some biopharmaceutical and immunomodulators are also there which are used in HIV infection like interferon alpha, pegylated interferon alpha, then ribavirin and mainly used in hepatitis B and C, respiratory syncytial virus infection they are the clinical uses. Flu-like symptoms and anorexia and fatigue are also there. Sometimes fever and gastrointestinal side effects. So with this brief, we have discussed about the pharmacology side effect, clinical uses of the antiviral drug along with the pathogenesis of HIV infection. Thank you all. Please do like, share and subscribe Pharmacology Insider.